This is a pair of wheels that belongs to a museum in Hood River, Oregon. The style of hub is fairly common to buggies. It's called a Sarvin hub. But the rim is used on early automotive wheels. This is called a clinch rim for a pneumatic tire. This wheel collapsed while they were pulling the car trying to get it started. And while taking this wheel apart, I began to notice these wheels have been worked on before. And unfortunately, by someone that wasn't too familiar with what they were doing. One of the signs is the tire bolts were actually stove bolts not tire bolts common to buggies or early cars. With these bolts removed, the fellow should have just slipped out of the rim, but for some reason it wouldn't. So I looked a little closer and there were four fasteners hiding. I still wasn't sure just what type of fastener, but I thought maybe it was just a wood plug on top of something, maybe steel rivet or something. But it just wouldn't come, so I went ahead and tried to just saw it off between the fellows and the rim. As soon as I started sawing, I realized it wasn't steel, but actually just a wood dowel. But then I found something else kind of interesting. Two layers of inner tube rubber wrapped around the outside circumference. So evidently the wheels have become loose and you can't size down a clinch rim so they had tried to build up the wheel. But it still wasn't enough, and so the wheel was loose and that's why it collapsed. So with now all the wood taken out of the old wheels, I can start to go the other direction.
Now these wheels are designed for a one inch spoke, but as usual, the standard spoke just doesn't fit every hub. So I'm gonna just kind of test fit them, pre-fit them to see how they fit. And as you can see, they really don't. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. So now let's see if we're a little closer. And with just a few little adjustments, I think we're going to work.
Now the original rivets in the hubs had a real nice small head, like a 3 16 but 3 16 was too small. So I'm going to modify a quarter to make it look like a 3 16 Now these wheels only end up being 24 inches and usually the smaller the wheel the more difficult they are to build.
Now with a couple saw cuts at the joints, I'll adjust the circumference so that they all sit down tight on the spokes. Now I have to sand the circumference to make it match the clinch rim. I purposely put on extra thick fellows so that I had room to sand. The inside circumference of the clinch rim is 75 inches. I need the OD of the wheel to be 75 and 1 8. Even though one wheel collapsed, I also rebuilt the second wheel. When the first wheel collapsed, the second wheel also had some damage.
Well, we should be ready to box them up and send them home. Once again, thanks for watching.